Hello everyone, Cesare here with more Divinity Original Sun 2 finally now that the holidays are done landing on the weekend. Joining me is of course Shadow Dragon and Iso. Hello. Silly is unfortunately away. I think he said he was helping his roommate move today. Uh, something like that. Uh, so, we are here. We're in the second. This is the second town, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. second, uh, the beginning of second act. Yeah. We just finished off Alexander, Bishop Alexander, or Archbishop Alexander, whatever the fuck his position was on the beach. I just realized that's a dog laying like, beside that guy. His name is Rusty. Anyway, uh, we got here and we beat up some uh, Void Woken um, before coming to the town. And we've been working on getting some new skills. And I think we got some cool ones that we're going to show off next time we get into a fight. But ISO is going to guide us to the next uh, plot point so that we can move the story along. So when we got off the boat, Malady told us that we needed to master Source. We needed to find Maester Siva. Yes. To, uh, and she can teach us. Go along with that. Yeah. We'll see if we can't find her. All right. I forget how do I turn uh, my camera? Ah. Noon. Get it. So do you have? Uh, are you controlling uh, Silly's character primarily, and you're just following him? Fair enough. Okay, so we just gotta go up the beach. Well, is this a peninsula? It is. Please, we'll why would I out. kill Lucian's second most charming son? Oh, all right. A Magister guard approaches. Behind her, on the gallows, two lizards. One in a magister uniform hangs dead from her neck. The other hangs from her hands, still alive. Step away from the prisoner! Ask who the half-living prisoner is and why she's hanging by her hands. Tell her you're going to set the prisoner free. She'd be wise to look the other way. Ask about the dead lizard magister hanging from the scaffold. She's hanging by her hands because the boss don't want her dead just yet. She's a tough one, Meister Siva. She's a seeker, and she's a bloody traitor. Ask what crime this maester set brought so low, or so high. She was part of the order. Knew Alexander personally. Alexander trusted her. At least as far as you can trust a lizard. To repay that trust, the maester gave Alexander up to his enemies. I'm offended by that. She wasn't there when Alexander fell, but why Magister be. Raymond uncovered the truth? She's as guilty as any of them, and I reckon she got off lightly. I'd have had her flayed alive with a salted bullwhip. Oh. Going to what now? She betrayed Alexander. I'd sooner die than free her. Constitution, tell her you can see she has a heart. She should listen to it and trust you. Tell her the white Magister Raymond sent you to bring the prisoner back to town. Offer her a token sum to look the other way. Ask if she knows who killed Alexander. Point at yourself. Oh, jeez, that's... Damn. Need four. I have my orders. The prisoner stays where she is, and you can move along. Is that a new thing that it tells you what you need it? No, oh, relatively, yeah. Because I don't remember that at all last time I played this. Yeah. I did send you the rest of your gold, by the way, so you can you can bribe her as much as you feel like you need to. I wouldn't do it for an entire bag of gold coins. I don't want to bribe her. Can we just kill it? Well, what level are we? Oh, we're level nine. I suppose we could probably do it. Maybe talk to Meister Steven and see what she has to say. The lizard hangs from the gibbet. Her face ah, fine. her scales discolored. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. So I just hopes like wood, death. One bloody eye cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased. <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well then. Cut me down. There is work to be done. Or indeed, you could stand there gawping as if you were a cow or the dancer real. 
It was a masterful performance. I would applaud it, but well. Whisper that Melody said she could train you. Is that true? I sure her she'll, she'll be free, but you're curious as to how she knew you were Godwood. Godwoken. Godwood? Godwoken. Reach up and undo her restraints. Be quick about it before the Magister realizes their prize catch is about to slip through the net. Pause for a moment. You don't want to get the Magister's attention just yet. Quickly slice through her restraints and help her down. Excellent. Now if you'd be so kind as to gut that startled looking Magister, it would be much appreciated. I must secure my home before they do any more damage. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. That's Isaac's turn. <laughs> the mice just seems like, I'm out of here. Right? She just, she's just gone. She just fucks off. <laughs> Man, she's not that uh, shocked looking. She's actually doing warm-up exercises with her axe. <laughs> oh, no. This thing isn't quite within backstep range. It's just awkward. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that person up on? Is that person behind us um, going to attack us as well? Just like us. Yep. Um. Okay. Oh, maybe not. No, but those those three it looked like they wanted to. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't even see them. I think they just like patrolled in, or maybe when she yelled. Oh yeah, they must have done actually. Uh, I don't want to land there. Uh, land over here. Ooh, nice. Well, they have a dog too. <laughs> so they do. Oh, this is a fun little battle. I don't know if I forget to use this. So... Oh, poor dog! I just heard him whine. Nero, you're a terrible person. Look at this, um, look at the execution on Nina's head, or not her head, her hair. <laughs> I, 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 I understand that hairstyle from someone younger, but... Oh, fuck off. To see somebody, to see somebody that old looking. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's fair. If the fucking Wait. enemy walks on the ice and doesn't, doesn't slip. We walk on the ice, we'll slip every time. Yeah. No. Instant slip. Hey, Shadow Reaver, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Let me know if you see any problems on the stream, okay? I don't see any myself right now, but, uh... Seems to be working pretty alright, been watching so far. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still using my graphics card as the renderer for the stream right now, because my CPU doesn't like doing this game for some reason. Mm, okay. Ah, uh, is, is that what I think it is? It is, yeah. Is this an enemy in front of me? Uh... So I don't watch her. The Silent Watcher is, yes, yes. Is. Uh, she is, and then the dog. That is oh, so man. cool. Thing is awesome. <laughs> Fucking bones. Uh. <laughs> so now we can finally see what this thing. I love how it's, each of its te like legs are ended in hands. All right, this is going to be both like amazing and stupid. What I'm about to do. Actually, no, I can just do this instead. It'd be better. We're ready for it. I get them instead. Now, how much damage does this thing do? It he can't even attack the person in front of him. What? <laughs> is he just? Is it like too close that I can't attack the thing in front of him? You doing pretty good. What games are you playing today, Shadow Reaver? Are you still working on Pillows of Eternity, or is today a Neo Day? There we go. Got that thing. Ooh. What? That's hit for 109 damage? That was cool. ridiculous. Fuck, man. That's, that's amazing. Oh, fuck. I gotta throw up. Uh... Well, I gotta throw up. No. I gotta put on uh, deflection. Oh, don't throw a stade. I'm gonna come for you next. Okay. <laughs> wow. Like I can yeah, get you going pretty good, eh? Oh, wing time. Who's gonna kill? Oh, yeah. There are too many options. 
We'll just kill this Archer. That's probably the easiest one to kill. I'm, I'm very happy with my Bone Widow. It's much cooler than I ever thought it could have been. Good. Um. Atrophy. What does Atrophy do? Um, that, that takes off their weapon. Oh, it's sick. It's essentially they're disarmed for that duration. <laughs> the play dead. Them play tactic. Dead tactic. <laughs> Where on earth is she going? <laughs> the long way around. My turn. Okay. I'm gonna throw. <laughs> Look how you're just surrounded by fire. Deciding what I want to do here. Damn. Just barely can't hit both of them. So they're one or the other. I don't think either of these are in range. So let's do this. Oh, I did get both of them. Hi. Right. They've like. Oh, you fuck. Oh, eat that bitch. Did you really just hit him back for 60? Yeah, I, re I reflected the, uh, the arrow oh, right, back at him. Reflecting. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, this does not make sense at all. I, I actually haven't seen that spell get used before. That's really cool. Well, I saw there were archers, and I was like, yeah, this is time to use this. He fucking the throws the ground time. below me. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just put him by you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Black Tripe, thank you for the host. <laughs> the fucking guy's like, don't get out of here. He just runs up there and goes, arg. Oh, look. Look at this guy. He's about to get owned. <laughs> that thing is broken. I, I, it is a little bit, yeah. That's ridiculous. What the worst is, it has an ability that will allow him to eat that corpse to do more damage for a couple turns. Yep. I, I did notice that. I'm looking forward to using it. <laughs> I look forward to using it. <laughs> I look forward to eating this corpse. Oh yeah. That's pretty upsetting though. Silly wants to eat the corpse. Oh, I like Rallying Cry. Oh, the dog. <laughs> the dog was like, fuck that term. <laughs> it pretty much it pretty much used that dog's entire turn though, so. <laughs> it did, which was kinda or... worth it. Wait, I'm really confused. Did uh did adrenaline not happen? It happened. Oh, never mind. He has glass cannon. I forgot about that. <laughs> Look, it's just like a burning dog, just chilling out in the ice. It's gonna die. <laughs> yeah. I might just. Hmm. I'll just stand over here for a turn. Can I? Can I actually get up there? No, we can. We can do something. Unfortunately. Uh. These guys are really good at, at, at putting their backs in the weirdest position, so I just cannot backstab them. Yeah, I, I started playing this myself at one point, um, using a um, sort of rogue character, and I just could never, like, half the time you just can't backstab anybody. Right. Alright, let's see. Nice. That was, that was pretty fantastic. I thought so. Uh, okay, what do I want to do now? Oh, here comes the cat. Get him, kitty. Cat's like, yeah, bitch, you ready for battle? I think the cat's just gonna attack this. <laughs> yeah, 16 more damage. There's really nothing terribly useful for me to do, so I will just hunt attack. Oh, he's on fire. Eat shit, buddy. Even crit him. Time to devour. <laughs> Ugh. What a nice like... mess of sinew and bone. <laughs> Seriously, Please. zoom in on that. That is, that is gross. 
Oh. <laughs> I love the detail. Oh, there's intestines there, right? too. <laughs> yeah. Dog's like, just dead. Um, <laughs> it just fucking turns into a burning, burnt corpse. I like how the fire just automatically goes out when they die. It's like, well, alright. <laughs> the fire is like, oh, oh, they're dead? Ah, that's the point now. Smolder. Uh, is there ice there? Oh, it's a water totem. Okay. So, Shadow Reaver, have you played Divinity Original Sin? Oh shit, Soulmate can just be used on anybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's even better than I expected. So, I put the cat up there so I could easily teleport up there later. With the Soulmates now, um, Sassari. So, what does that do? Um, you guys have to live together for the rest of your life. Duh. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be true anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, basically you receive half of the healing and armor restoration that I get. Oh, I like that. You played uh, a bit of it on PS4? Huh, I didn't know this game came out for PS4. That's awesome. I just forgot about that as well. <laughs> Dead. Cool, 3,000 more HP. Okay. Oh, I really hope I get to hit someone with this fucking Burn Widow, considering it's not empowered. Ooh, can I backstab this? If this backstabs, I'm gonna be so happy with life. Okay, not quiet. Send the execution, Ninyan has got <laughs> Ninyan. Unfortunately, she's... Uh, okay. Where the hell what are you going, doing? Ninyan? Oh my <laughs> gosh, that breaks my stealth? What the fuck? You bitch. I hate you. Get out of this game. Fucking Ninyan's like, yeah, I'm gonna go around here and it's like, you know. <laughs> I can hit you. <laughs> the fuck, oh. man? That's really interesting. I never realized that. Okay, Wait, no, I want Nero, the cat to go over here. Tell, tell, tell your cat that even though I'm wearing Magister robes, I am a friend. Yeah. I don't want to give mauled by the kitty. Damn it. Oh yeah, my, my actually a burrow, a burrow, the burrow ability on um, Bone Widow again. So yeah, shoot me. No, nope, he's gonna shoot Amelia. Yeah. You what, son? <laughs> I think <sighs> I think it has like a one turn CD, so you, I think you can do it every turn. Oh, maybe shit. every other turn. It's, oh. it's, whatever it is, it's super low. Mmm, okay, that's cool. Oh, boom. Ninyan, I'm coming for you. Already? Okay. I mean, I guess she is pretty attractive for an older lady. Oh, thank you. Hey, I'm surprised Grandpa Jasper still has armor. Right? Because I'm not silly. Ah, <coughs> oh, Crimson Fury, thank you for coming in just to show your support. You want that mage, though? <laughs> Look at this bone spider that uh, Shadow summoned. That's fantastic. You're going to start your stream in a few minutes? Hey, um, I hope it goes well. What are you streaming today? I'd like to see where she goes from here. <laughs> just a giant bone spider staring at her. She's probably just gonna go jump off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> is Shadow a necromancer? Um, Shadow is a conjurer with necromancy. Yes, yeah, so I basically just I'm basically classing them both now. Um. Hey, nothing wrong with more battle, right? I've, as far as uh, mobas go, that one seems pretty fun from what I've seen of it. Usually, it's the community for mobas that ruin it for me. She's wet. Yeah, she is. She's like a bone with her. She's like, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, she's actually almost dead. She's so like, my as well go out with her, like, yeah, oh go. Oh my gosh. Back. Yeah, she was. She did 160 damage to me. That's quite rough. Damn, I can't Phoenix dive over there. I don't have because a, I had like I nothing know. else to spend my points on this like um yeah I had nothing else to spend my points on so I just learned um shackle the pain during this battle I was like yeah why not I got it on me be decent yeah I can only move up there so there's nothing really I can do so I'll just move a little closer because that way it makes it because oh 
Because, yeah, we're trying to spin that way I can, make, I can try and force like the enemies to try not to attack me. Right. Nice. Dude, I'm so happy that my uh, deflection skill was put to use in the first battle, because that's where we weren't going to get to use on that. That was actually really, like, I was quite impressed to see that used. Yeah, because, uh, like I said, I was worried it wasn't going to get yet any use, and... No, that was wrong. Oh, there's this magic trophy. What does he got? Nothing. That's great. What's this dog got? Oh, this dog has hair and a fang. Excellent. Ooh, you can have those. Nina dropped your axe, but unfortunately... As we saw, it's two-handed. Oh, well. So I'm almost tempted <clears throat> to say that that, like... That Bone Widow is actually more powerful than my, um... Than my bloody Incarnate at this point. It, it might be. I noticed that, like, in the earlier levels it definitely was. And then the, mm. the other one scales a little harder. I think right, okay. the Incarnate might be good for situ uh, other situations, too. Because it seems like yeah. it, uh, you can give it various abilities that make it pretty awesome. Like, if you need a ranged exactly. attack. Yeah, which I can't do with my Bone Widow. I kind of hoped I could, but... All, all these other like skills are based for my Karna only, so right. yeah, it's kind of a shame. But the Bone Widow looks awesome, so that makes up for it. You know, it does a lot of damage, so it's, it's definitely so useful. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, it's like a time and a half what Silly does while backstabbing with his nice. new weapons. Feels bad. Okay, so we'll go talk to Master Siva or Meister. Alright, where is she? She's hanging out back here. Yeah. I suppose we haven't ran into like some random person just making weird noises. Like a person just going... <laughs> Escape. The Meister sits slumped in a chair, looking around the room as she works her shoulder with one hand. It looks like it was dislocated by the gallows. Damnable red cloak baboons ransacking my wardrobes. As if I were keeping ancient valuable secrets in a pile with my unmentionables. She takes a deep breath, and with a twist, a click, and a screech of pain, she shoves her shoulder back into its socket. <sighs> I swear by the seven of <laughs> if we did not have more important matters to attend to. Wait, didn't it say earlier that she has golden eyes? Why is there purple in the, uh... Picture. Reaching well, across the table, she pulls a bowl question. of hot water towards her and fishes some bandages. It's gold around her eyes. That counts for something, she right? She slowly starts to tend to her wounds. I suppose. I mean, you're not wrong. The barbarians were unable to club their way into my vault, so everything you need should be safe. Cleotha, isn't it normally played to thank your rescuers? Ask what exactly it is you need. Watch as she slowly wraps a cut on her and asks why they strung her up. Good, tell you we want to get started as quickly as possible. Why didn't they string her up? I had a claw in murdering their darling divine and waiting Alexander. Yeah, we'd be waiting forever. The bandage, pulling the fabric tight against her wound. She winces before tying it off in a neat knot, but you can see the red stain already spreading across the fabric. Never mind that. But I was here the entire time. Apparently, my cunning transcends time, space, and common sense. Cough and conflict. Actually, you're the reason the messages are looking for Alexander's killer. So now that she's free, you can proceed. You want to move quickly. Grunt. And what do you need to do? I wonder if she isn't forgetting something. Words with that rhyme with tank you, maybe? God's sake, thank you. I don't really care about that. My Siva freezes, her eyes locked on you, her claws mid swipe, cutting a new stretch of bandage. Why on earth should I have thought anything else? Not that I was <laughs> sorry to hear about his death. No, I doubt my grin helped matters during the interrogation. <laughs> so now she's free, you can proceed. Enthusiasm. On a weekday, my word. This is a weekday? We shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen, Godwoken, but the coming divine requires more than a supernatural battle. Come, God Woken. It is time to see just how awake you are. I think we're about to just get, I think we're about to get woke. Oh man, I want to be woke. She'd be upset if I went through her. Well, she has a hat in here. That's a shawl. Um, I don't think she's unhappy with us going through all of her stuff. 
There's a book on the floor. <laughs> it's a bit odd, isn't it? We'll take her so. Alright, so we got three books. Let's check a look up there. Feats of the Four. The Feats of the Four. Behold the mighty heroes of Driftwood and the feats for which we owe them our thanks. Garrick, a human who slew necromancers preying upon the dead of Stone Garden. Bromley, a dwarf who defeats the demons and plagued the great woodlands. Vidya, a lizard who subdued the strange beasts that arose from the primordial caverns of Driftwood. Hala, an elf who defended the farmers who feed Driftwood against pitiless bandits. They are immortal through their deeds. Their implements of victory shall rest where they slew their enemies. I have a question. Why are these books when there's just one page? Oh, yeah. This book contains the description of several magical artifacts that have been forbidden by the Divine Order. As you flip through the book, your eyes land on a section about idols of rebirth. Infused with ancient magic, these small statues allow the wielder to return to Rivalon after death. The statue grows ashen and loses all magical pro properties after use. Impish tinkerers were widely known to travel with such idols on their person. Some sources even suggest these tinkerers could restore the magic properties of an inert idol using the power of a resurrection scroll. Meddling with the sanctity of death is a grave offense, and all idols have been destroyed and outlawed. That the... totally should be an achievement for helping her clean her house up, because I think I did a pretty fucking, like, amazing job here. <laughs> Those with the knowledge of to craft them have been duly uh, re-educated. Why'd you give me that poison barrel? That's supposed to be in Silly's bag. Oh my god. <laughs> So you send it to not silly. Perfect. <laughs> Silly's already got one. <laughs> so I've just like encountered a very interesting bug. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you see the book right next to me. I'm I'm holding it to sort of like um move it, and it's oh, like, it it's, giant? it's just tripled in size. <laughs> <laughs> that is like what wack. the fuck? Oh. Tales of the Seven Gods. The Seven Gods were still young when they decided to, that each of them should have their own race to guide through the eternal flow of time. And thus it happened that Rollick, the most powerful of all gods, became the patron of humans. The burly Duna created the dwarves in his own likeness, and even lived alongside them in the mountainous caverns. Tercendelius, the poet, went into the woods and created the elves. He blessed them with near immortality and wisdom. The reptile goddess, Zorlstissa? Wished to command a proud warrior race, and thus she created the lizard people, fierce fighters from the wastelands. And well, Amelia, the god Vrager, known renowned for his brutality and violence, created the orcs and enslaved them for more than three hundred years before he left Rivalon. What? Zanteza, the goddess of mirth and laughter, wanted an intelligent race. She versed, versed in the arts of magic around her. She created the imps, who were talented magicians and engineers. The goddess Amadia was an outsider, preferring to live in complete solitude, as the centuries pressed and the six phases spread over the continent. One day, Amadia's dalliance with a wizard resulted in the birth of several demigods. She granted her lover immortality and decided that she would act as the patron mother of, wiz of the wizards. Although wizards are not considered a separate race, they have always had their own goddess to pay tribute to. Interesting. Okay, perfect. So this button is going to unleash the trap door, which hopefully shattered and murdered here. <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't realize I, I forgot about that. Yeah, she's gonna call out the combination mirror. Hurry up, you ready? The right. stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial, gleaming under the dim light. The metallic dial almost seems to wink at you. Taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Yes! Yay. Unlimited power. I tried to lie in the bed again and just said can't use. <laughs> can't use the bed. It's just like straight up rejected. Can't use. Managed to steal her gold, that's good. What's in these sacks? Nothing. I can't even hear what she's saying. Ancient runes, weird contraptions. Oh, this place is an arcanist's dream. Weird contraptions. This place is an arcanist's dream. 
I like how we all say the same thing. Because I think you all picked the same, like, type of person. That was not like purpose. voice. I hey, know. artillery plant scroll. Oh, hell yeah. I'm a source boy now. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of the fucking helmet, by the way. This helmet is, like, give, like, give me conniptions now. <laughs> you can just hide it. <laughs> <laughs> can it's I? It's terrible, though, because it, it, it's, like... You literally have like half of the neck of the dragon, like stretches oh, yeah. down your back. Yeah. Okay. I feel better now. I still got it on, but it's hidden. I look beautiful. Anybody want a Medu Medusa head skill book? Well, I'd like a Matuta head. Matuta head? Anybody want a Medusa uh, head skill book? Snakes grow out of your head, giving you a petrifying aura and the petrifying visage skill. Oh, that's um. It's fucking polymorph. polymorph, isn't it? Yeah. It nah, I'm polymorph okay. Too. I'm probably not gonna be going down polymorph. I'll hang on to it then. I'm gonna be a necro boy. Yeah. Okay. So I was wondering though, like, why are all the books in this game like one page? Because there are too many books, they can't they can't have an entire book for each book, or they'll have like two. I don't know about that, because Skyrim has entire books, like the entire thing is books. That's, that's the whole maybe game. Like, maybe people just don't like reading, like in this universe. Nobody likes reading in any universe. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. point. Anyone who says they do is a liar. Yeah, exactly. I do. Like your collection of books, that's just there for show. Yeah, also, it's just there. Zoom in on this little jar that's in front of Meister. It's just like a bunch of eyeballs. Hang on a sec, I got two more books <laughs> to read. In this turn, Hubert the Historian assembles the bulk of what is still known to the larger world uh, about the infamous Bracchus Rex and creates a lightly drawn portrait that feels somewhat incomplete, but also carries the ring of Perth. Bracchus was once a fine human being and a noble ruler, but his greed overtook him and he became corrupted. There is a mention of Cassandra, a twin sister, to whom Bracchus did unspeakable things, uh, stealing her life force that he may live forever. Unfortunately, these crimes saw him arrested by source hunters, hanged until dead, and his body thrown into a well. Rumors abound that this was not the end, but until Hubert can confirm that these outlandish tales, as exciting and dramatic as they are, he refuses to add them to his chronicle. Why is it unfortunate that he was killed for this? So, for what it's worth, um, Cassandra and Bracchus Rex were in the first game, and uh, Bracchus Rex had actually turned... Um, himself into a lich and then turned her like body into his phylacterary or whatever oh ah, okay that, like keeps him alive yeah, no matter what happens to him as long as as long as uh she stays alive so i gotcha pretty pretty interesting but also very messed up okay this is a book of songs and sonatas written by the great bard kirill the greatest composer known to both living and undead one song in particular catches her eye the spring, springs mix the, with the rivers, and the rivers with the sea. If the waters may duly merge, then why not you and me? Isn't that pretty? That's very. Oh, there's lots of potions over here. Okay, let me spin the camera and look around here. I think we got everything. Uh, where's this jar you got in front of you speak of? Oh, that big one. Wait, where's the, where's the eyeball jar go? Did you steal that? I did, I gave it to Miro. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to put it back on the table. It's funny how she says that they didn't get into this room, but like, you look around on the ground and she just has a bunch of like, weird looking tarot cards. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. Just like, everywhere, like, lady, you seem a little more refined than this. Gonna some, are just, some are just pictures, yeah. only some of them are tarot cards. There you go, lady. Gifts for you. Oh, Rhymes of Scribes, part four. Let's read that. I can deduct one recipe from this book, but this reads more like a puzzle than a recipe. I will have to experiment with what I can learn from these rhymes. With the essence of life on paper you write, with a piece of ribble and well as you cite, the magic desire to fenders mistreat, turn flesh into feather, apply chicken feed. Okay. Oh, that was like lovely. Yeah, my inventory. Uh, give me a sec. 